Oh, I forgot to get the gear. And the minute I start shooting, it's going to attract Mr. X. Oh, damn it. All right. Well, I got to do it because I got to go to the... I'm gonna, in order to do that, I got to get to the other side. Well, I guess it's a good thing I brought my handgun after all. You're dead. Oh, Brian. How are you not dead? Now you're dead. Wait, what was that? Oh, that was just green herb. Um, alright. Am I still carrying around? I am. That's if that's what I'm supposed to do with that or not. But that's what we're gonna do. <sighs> so mad at myself that I forgot that. thing is that this is... Of course you aren't. Yeah, the good thing is that this is a safe room. So I can take refuge here without any problem. So that was fun. Well, I still have to kill this guy. Alright. You're dead now. Just like a good Battle Royale game, you gotta know your map. Gotta have map knowledge. <laughs> you gotta have map knowledge. 
<clears throat> if I make it back to the parking garage without having taken damage, I'm going to be pretty damn proud of myself. I got to say. Because I have done some serious improvisation this time around. Which, for the most part, this is the only... part of the game from a challenge run perspective anyway that you really do need to be prepared for improvisation. Sometimes a little bit in the sewer but not a lot. Not like this game. Not like this area. With Mr. X constantly chasing you. Yeah. I think we grab this one. I don't have to write a report on this. Wrong way. thing is, is I should Why are you not dead? I don't understand why you're not dead. Good thing is the other guy in here is, so I don't I don't even have to worry about him. Just run right on through. And then Do I just go down the stairs? I forgot the red jewel. I forgot the red jewel. Oh, damn it. Alright, so you get combined there. Combined there. Not that any of this matters, because I still have to go back and get the red jewel from the case. <sighs> or otherwise... 
otherwise I can't get the badge and I need the badge to go up and oh damn you Brian <sighs> all right Where my love of stealth games comes into play. Nope. Yep. I am in the right place. Yeah, that is true. It is. It absolutely is. You're right. But, I mean, if you're going to give it to me, then I'm going to take advantage of it. Uh, let's see, we store that in here, we'll grab it on the way out, and grab the red jewel, yeah, I mean, if you're going to give it to me, then I'm definitely going to take advantage of it, actually, let me grab the ink ribbon, I normally wouldn't, but in this section, I've got a good run going here. I, I, I kind of want to... <laughs> I really want to get out of this area and back to the parking garage without having taken any damage. And then once I get back to the parking garage I'm pr and... Uh, deal with Mr. X in the parking garage, I'm probably going to uh, call it for the night. Because it is Wednesday, and Wednesday means a new episode of Obi-Wan. Fantastic. Here's the thing. I actually don't know if he comes down here. He went the other direction.
I have a feeling I'm gonna run out of shotgun shells. Because I, I need them in the labs. And I'm not gonna have them. I've got to go back to the star's office. Oh, shit. I really thought he was going to do that earlier. This is another safe room. I used to say so much longer than I, than I need to on the safe zones. Well, the great thing is, is this new 3D audio... I have a much better understanding of where he is. Before, I could hear, like, if he was below me. And I could kind of hear if he was next to me. But it really could... It, it wasn't perfectly clear. I'm not saying it's perfectly clear now. So, the big problem here is that that's the press room right there. That's the, the wall he just broke down. my best way to do this. That it? Okay, he's over there. Alright. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Know exactly what I'm going to do. Again, the liquor should be down at the other end of the hallway. Perfect. <clears throat> the problem before they made this patch update was that safe zone down all the way at the bottom in the interrogation his AI had this tendency to just kind of roam around the rooms around that safe room. That safe zone. So you would peek out and the minute, excuse me, the minute you started walking down the hallway, bam, he was right there. <clears throat> but And it was only that safe zone. For some reason, that was the only safe zone that he did that with. And trust me, I've played this game enough to, yeah, it, it, man. I haven't played it nearly as much as Carcinogen or, you know, a couple of other people, but... Alright, so this is the 50 cal. But I have certainly played it a whole lot more than most people. Uh, I need the I need the badge back so that I can get the upgrade. Now this is where things could get nuts. I could get cornered.
sounds like he's in the library right now. Don't you dare. Ah, damn it. All right. Then we'll go up. And we will do this the very, very long way. Oh my god, he's still alive. <laughs> he's not now. <laughs> oh, the movement on his body when I shot him in the head. That was beautiful. Make sure I haven't missed anything. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and discard that. There's no reason to even keep it. I don't need... Let me go ahead and store this away for now because I don't need it. Uh, I need one flashbang. Why can I not equip that? Oh, maybe I can't do it there. There we go. Equip the flashbang. Um, do I have to kill anything? I don't think so. Alright, again, to play it safe. Oh, shoot, I need the electronic parts. Dumbass. Uh, Alright, well then let's store that because I don't need it for now. Electronic part, electronic part. Okay.
shoot. Um, moment. That didn't do it. There it is. That just in case, and that. Okay, let's make sure I've got the. Yep. All right, so there's the flashbang. That's not good. <sighs> Give me a break. That one scares me every time. Because you have to let him get so close. Twice. I didn't realize you were keeping score. Look, this isn't a game. Oh, you're gonna kill me. Nothing dies down here. <laughs> oh, you have no idea. I take it you have the key card. Yeah. I know. I didn't. Un I don't understand that either. I was hoping you could explain what's on it. Maybe. After I hear it. It's nighttime. Let's get out of here. You're in a park parking garage with almost no lights on. I I never understood that. Alright, so I'm gonna get myself to the next save point. And that's where we'll call it for the night. But I am very damn proud of myself that I just made it through the last two splits without taking any damage. Because that was some serious improvisation. And map knowledge. Serious improvisation and map knowledge. I am very proud of myself for that. I can almost go finish the rest of the game getting killed nonstop and be happy. Almost. Is that the intel you needed? Unfortunately, no. Ben didn't come through. Man, well, she what exactly pushing are you me along. For? More info on the people responsible for this mess. All right. Roads out. Going through that gun shop looks like the only way. Look at the back of his shirt. It looks like there's yellow paint, blood, blue paint. I mean, just all kinds of stuff on the back of his shirt. I don't ever remember seeing that before. What a mess. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me see. What have I got space-wise? I got three. Alright, that's the... That goes with that. I 
don't think there's anything over here. Letter from Jill. More ammo. Is that it? And then the guy pops out. Don't yeah. Move. I'm not gonna hurt you. I said don't move. I'm just passing through. I'm gonna ask you to lower that weapon. I kill you are. You gotta turn around and go right back out the way you came in. I think your daughter needs help, sir. Don't tell me how to deal with my daughter. Drop it. No! Wait! Step aside. We need to terminate her before she turns. Terminate? It's my fucking daughter. Ada. Just let them be. Emma? Sweetheart, I told you to stay put. Daddy? Yeah, my daddy's here. Okay. Those fucking things outside. Look what they did to us. You're a cop. You're supposed to know something. How did this happen? Huh? Cops didn't know shit. She was well, a sweet little angel. Chief Irons did. Mommy. Chief Irons was getting paid. Mommy. Paid to look the other way. Okay. And I'm gonna put you to bed too, okay? I'm a... She fires is a sick fuck too, for that matter. With the exception of the family that captures Ethan in RE7, Chief Irons is my least favorite NPC in any of the Resident Evil games. But at least with the family in RE7, you end up fighting all of them as bosses. You know, it's one thing to keep the truth from me, but why him? I want to find out what's happening here and stop whoever's behind it. Helping people like them? That's why I joined the force. My mission is to take down Umbrella's entire operation. We may not make it out. Whatever it takes to save this city, count me in. Because of scenes like that, and the upgraded graphics, and, and the great cap the, the new combat tip capabilities, I have a very hard time right now choosing which game is my favorite Resident Evil game? RE Village, RE2, and I can guarantee, unless they completely fuck it up, RE4 Remake when it comes out. Those three, for me, are all going to be on the same level. I don't know which one I would choose, more, one over the other. Here's the thing about RE4. I am guessing, based on what I saw, actually it's not even a guess, I think it's more of a logical leap, that they're going to use the same engine that they used in Village, which means it's going to look and act just like Village. It'll be third person instead of first, which is probably why the new DLC for RE Village allows for third person. It allowed them to test third person on that engine which has been a new engine since RE7 with third person so that they can use third person with RE4. And assuming, which they've never done before, they, well, I was getting ready to say as long as they don't mess with the story. Because one of the things that makes RE4 most beloved is the story of RE4. It's a phenomenal story. 
And I was going to say that they, they don't typically mess with the story, but then I keep forgetting about RE3, which they fucked up royally. So, I, you know, I don't know. Heard of the Umbrella Corporation? They're a pharmaceutical company secretly making bio I'm thinking they learned their they lesson. It turns people into indestructible monsters. From three? That explains the horrible things I've seen. I don't know, we'll see. And that's why I'm looking for Annette Birkin. She's the one at Umbrella responsible for unleashing the March of next year. This is how we get to Annette. Based on what you've said, the sewer seems fitting. Well said. After you. Gee, thanks. Can't imagine a real scientist being down here. According to HQ, this leads right into Umbrella's facility. Come on. Sewers are run by the city. How could they have a facility without the authorities knowing? Welcome to corporate America. Umbrella's controlled Raccoon City for years. Jesus! That an earthquake? What the hell? <sighs> okay, so this gets put away, this gets put away. Grab this. And that's going to do it for me for the night. I love how he still gets impressed after all. Well, you got to remember, he's just a rookie. He doesn't know any different. He definitely does not know any different. <clears throat> um, this is where I'm going to call it for the night. I didn't think I was going to get the entire game done tonight. If I had cleared out all of the cutscenes and had, you know, just skipped past all of them, I might have come very, very close and would have probably gone ahead and tried to make it. But uh, this is actually a really good spot because we've still got the entire section of Ada Wong. We've still got the entire sewer section and the entire lab section. So what we're going to do is stop here.